Hey guys, it's Ryder Stolosh and we are just a few days from the new year. And I know a lot of you are so excited to enter the new year. And I think you should be excited. I am excited because new year means that we can enter a new year and we can do things better than this year. We can improve our life. It's a, it's a fresh start. But the truth is for a lot of people, the next year will not be much different than this year. And I like the quote that Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is continue doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So if you're going to enter the new year and con going to continue doing the same things that you've been doing this year, the year will be not much different than this one. So my goal is to give you a few tips to help you to set yourself up for success for the next year. So there are three very simple steps that you can take before the, the, this year is up to make sure the next year is definitely the best year you ever had yet. So step number one, what I'd like you to do is take a piece of paper and draw a line right in the middle. And then on the left hand side, I want you to list all your accomplishments, all the things you accomplished this year, big and small, and just keep writing. Don't judge and uh, don't think, well, that wasn't big enough, or just if you think it was accomplishment, then probably it was accomplishment, just write it down. And really take the time to give yourself a credit for what you accomplished. Because you worked hard, you gave so much, and you did accomplish these things, so give yourself a credit. And then once you have a list, on the left hand side, I want you, I mean, on the right hand side, I want you to write all the things that you did to create these things. So if you work late, you woke up earlier, you, you studied, you, you delayed gratification, whatever things you did to create these results, write them down. Because we want to find patterns that created these successes. So then, step number two, I want you to do the same thing. Take a piece of paper, draw a line in the middle, and this time on the left hand side, I want you to write down all your failures. And I know you're like, what? Yes, you heard right. You heard it correctly. It's, I said failures. Because I, I'm kind of person, I don't like to dwell on the past and the failures, but it's very important that you look at your failures and you figure out what caused these failures so that you don't repeat them in the new year. So write down all your failures. And then on the right hand side, I want you to list all the things that you did and just be honest with yourself. There's no judgment, just really be honest and that's the only way to improve and grow. Just write things, write it everything down that you think you contribute to these failures. So for example, if you gain 10 pounds uh, extra weight, you could be probably writing maybe, you know what, I went out too much with my friends and had too much uh, junk food and I drank too much. Or if you got in debt, you can write, you know what, I didn't delay, I didn't delay gratification, I just went shopping, I bought whatever I wanted, when I wanted, and that's how I got in debt. So you get the point. So then step number three and the most important step is to take these two sheets of paper and from your success accomplishment page, I want you to find at least three to five things that you did that you think contributed the most to your accomplishments. Because we want to do all those things that help us to create more results that we're looking for. And then from the failure page, we want to find things that we do that create these failures and we have to stop doing them. It sounds very simple, but we will not stop doing them unless we know what those things are. So let's say if you don't have meaningful and loving relationships, maybe it's because you always argue. Maybe you just always try to um, prove your point. So maybe your goal for the next year should be, you know, be kind instead of right. So that could be one of your changes that you make. So you wanna list at least three to five things that you're gonna do more of and three to five things that you're gonna do less of or completely gonna stop to make sure the new year is different. 
So I can assure you, if you do these things, few things, very simple things, and actually sit down and, and, and find uh, the good habits and the bad habits, and uh, do more of the, the good habits and do, cut out the bad ones, the next year truly, truly be an incredible one. Your life will never be the same, and the next year will be yet the best year yet. I am so excited for you. I cannot wait to see what you're going to create in 2014. I wish you a happy new year, and I look forward to seeing you again in the new year. Thank you so much.